guys, what is up? This is me, No Joe Games here, aka No and I am coming at you for a tutorial on how to install the Aura Spawn mod for 1.7.10. This is an amazing mod that adds a bunch of new mobs and weapons and items and armor and everything, and it's just amazing. I'm just going to say that right out there. It, it's amazing. Um, and a little spoiler, this, um, this week I'm going to be reviewing part of the Orospawn mod for my mod review. So, look forward to that! Woohoo! So, let's get straight into this. So, as we see here, we have our desktop. And then, so we just open up a browser, and as you can see here, we have the Orospawn mod webpage right here. Just need to, oh, what? Oh no, oh, that's not what I meant to do. Well, yeah, it opens up. <laughs> so yeah, we just need to open up our browser and type in Orospawn mod 1.7.10. But don't worry, because in the link of this video will be this li the link to this page. So don't worry at all. So yes, as we see, the flower sword. That's amazing. That's the most amazing sword. So as you can see, no, no, stop. <laughs> so here we have the Orospawn mod and now all we want to do is click download Orospawn mod and it'll bring you to an ad fly page um... So what? okay so you just need to put sausages in here and then just wait for five seconds no my download is not ready because it's, I need. We, we just need to skip the ad. And here we go. We have Orspawn 1.7.10 zip, and it is a relatively bigger file. So depending on how fast your computer is, it may take longer or shorter. So just don't worry about it. Then we can just close out of our um the browser. And as you can see, oh no, it's not on our desktop. And to do that, we just hit uh, Windows R and type in downloads right there that's well never mind don't do that we'll just you can just open up your this and go to downloads here let me show you that just open that up and here we have downloads and this is where we want to go and here we have the Orispond mod we want to copy it to desktop and then we can delete this copy because we will not need that anymore so here we have the Orispond mod now we need now we actually need to install it so we, what we need to do is we need to press the Windows and R key at the same time. Type in percent app data or app data, and then close it with a percent. Hit OK, and voila, we will be in uh, roaming. We want to go to .minecraft. We want to go to mods, and then we just want to drag this in here. And as you can see, I already have a few other mods installed. Oh, but that doesn't really matter. Just ig ignore these. Um, just yeah, just ignore them. Don't they don't they don't matter. They're not. And yeah, whatever. Um, so yeah, we will now have our Orspawn mod in here. We should just, if you have nothing, no other mods installed, it should just be the Orspawn. But since I do have other mods installed, I'll just keep those in there. We can close out of that. And now you're like, oh well, how do we know if this is actually working? Well, we go here, um, and open launch your Minecraft, and it should launch and here we go now what we want to do is we want to go to forge and forge for 1.7.10 should be installed if you have not installed it make sure to go check out a video that I have on how to install forge for 1.7.10 so go check that out there will be a link in the description below on how to do that I'll make sure to remember to put that in the description below um, so now we just hit play and now let it do it magic whatever you want to call it let it magic happen. What? What? No. What? What happening? There we go. Okay. <laughs> I didn't even know you could do that. And so now, just it has a black screen, but that is okay. It's just recognizing the mod and everything. And we are just waiting for it. Oh, it crashed. That is not good. Oh, what? What happened? Weapons plus mod. Okay. So looks like those two are not compatible so what we need to do if this happens if your thing crashes we just and if you have other mods installed you just need to look see what crashed and as you can see the weapons plus mod that is the one thing that caused that so we can just move this to recycling bin 
And now we should be able to play it perfectly. Oh, okay, that was <laughs> that's that was not supposed to happen, guys. It's supposed to run perfectly. But yeah, you need to make sure that there are some mods that are not compatible with um or spawn. And you just need to make sure that the mods you if you do have some pre modded installed pre if you do have some mods already installed, you need to make sure that they work. And here we go. It is now working because when it goes to Mojang, and here we go, 5 mod loaded, 5 mod active. We have craft guide and or spawn, and now we can just go into uh, mod review 2 because that's. Oh, uh, yeah, just keep on. It doesn't matter. <laughs> It'll just create a backup. And here we go. Look at all these things, and voila, the Kyanite sword getting you. What, what? Oh yeah, see, this is the ore spawn mod. It's a huge mod. So, that is going to be the end of this episode, guys. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like. It's always appreciated. And leave a comment down below telling me what you think of this tutorial and what other tutorials you want me to do. Um, and yeah, if, if you really did enjoy this episode or tutorial, make sure to subscribe because I do upload almost daily. Uh, every day of the week, except for um, Sunday. Um, so yeah, make sure to do that, and I'll see you guys next time. Oh, blah, 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 blah. I got my Kyanite sword. I I want a different sword. Let us get the Big Bertha, or whatever it's called. Big Bertha. Uh, I feel like there's like another sword that's huge. Um, no, wait. oh yeah, big. Let's just grab the Big Bertha. So, guys, I will see you next time. Um, yep. Okay. Whoa, whoa, it's like really hard to get the entire sword in there. Wow. Okay. I. Bye bye. <laughs> wow, that's like hard. It doesn't even need. <laughs> yep. Okay. See you guys next time. Bye bye.